Hey guys, welcome back to Ken Cinema Sofa. If it's your first time here, I'm your brother Ken. I'm a missionary stationed in Japan. But this channel is all about exploring my other passion, awesome cinema and TV. So look, I am a comic book fan, okay? Uh, well, look, let me be honest with you. Let me con confess, I haven't been a true comic book fan in probably 25 years. <laughs> Look, I, I, I grew up with comics, okay? I collected them. Uh, I do have some upstairs with me here in Japan, just some in plastic that I keep with me wherever I travel to, wherever I move to while I'm in Asia. Uh, I don't really read them anymore, but just kind of some nostalgia, something to remind me of home, because, you know, when you stay decades, I've been, I've been in Asia 16 years, and, you know, you love the culture and everything, but sometimes you get really homesick. So just looking at those books from time to time just kind of makes me feel grounded. Just, you know, a, a little taste of back home. So I got some Spider-Mans up there, uh, mostly X-Men. But yeah, I grew up with Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. I watched the first uh, Spider-Verse film. Love that. Absolutely love that. That whole comic book feel of, of the... The, the style that they used for shooting it. It, it was 3D, but it they, they used some uh, pixels or dots that like what you see on the old comic, comic book pages when you stare close at them like I used to do when I was a kid. And you can see the little dots that make up the color on the old vintage comic books. And they put that in the film and I love that, man. I loved it. Why does it have to be animation that gets things right? You know, even with the, the new X-Men 97, which I'm, I'm gonna catch up on that. I wasn't gonna do it, I wasn't. Then I watched like three or four episodes of it and it's so close to the comics I grew up with. I'm gonna do that. Let's, that's for another video, okay? I don't know what it is about animation. They're able to get things so much closer to the comic than the live action films many times, except for the MCU. Mostly the MCU has, has done pretty good up until three years ago. I don't know much about it. I did happen to catch some image of Spider-Man 2099. Um, 2099, 2199, I don't know. I used to have that comic. I think his name is Miguel, I don't know. He's dressed up in like a blue Day of the Dead outfit that's spider themed, I don't know. It actually has, has talons. So that's all I remember from the comics. So look, without further ado, get your favorite snack. This is just one left. <laughs> Trolley Sour Octopus. I don't know, I got it from the import market here in Tokyo, so good wait. I ate all of them, sorry. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Let's get it. Oh, they got the dots. They got the dots. Oh, I love that. Even the Columbia. <laughs> Already getting chills. It's just like the way they're going through all the different fonts and looks. Like, oh, approved by the comics code. Oh, that's, that's, all, you, that's all you had to do. They slayed me with that. It's like whiplash. Name is Miles Morales. And J. Jonah Jameson, right? That's the same actor playing it. Parker! Mommy left you? No. It's a nice way to do a, uh, a recap. I think you know the rest. That you don't. You don't. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm cool with that. I should have bought extra snacks, but I didn't. I always get a little bit afraid when I see a sequel to something that was so amazing before because I just want them to, ex you know, at least match the same level. To exceed it is something special. Before Miles. There was Peter. Hey! Oh, no, no. He seems like a good guy. Why wear a mask if you got nothing to hide? Huh? All right, no politics at the dinner. Mm -hmm. Thank you, May. So, but they didn't really know me. Is that Peter? Touch him again. Ah, uh, okay. Until it was too late. Okay, so I don't know much about the Peter and her universe. Oh, what? Okay, so in her universe, Peter turned into a monster, huh? He became the lizard. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. Do you guys like like I said, I left the comics after they started getting into this stuff before they started getting into this stuff. Do you can you tell me is this what happened in her universe? I never really made another friend after that. Peter Parker dated my table. He was my daughter, his best friend. I was friend. So I find this spider woman. Uh, we caught a break and Spider Woman came. Oh. That's weird. You know, I was there. She ran from the scene. She didn't have a choice. I, I got a job to do, Gwen. It won't bring him back. Yeah, this is really weird. Like, I'm wondering if it's going to hurt so much to tell him who you are in this situation. Hey, punk rock, you give your old man a hug. <laughs> That's nice. I like that, and I love that touch, the color that spread. I'm an artist too, so look, man, just express yourself. That's cool. I love the little color hatches you can see. The color is spilling out of the, uh, what? That's where she hides her costume. Okay, anyway, the vulture in this world speaks Italian. You know my vulture? Yeah. What kind of vulture is that? <laughs> oh, okay, that's why he speaks Italian. Is he like from the Da Vinci era? That's what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I gotta be careful with doing accents. I live in a house, a building with an Italian restaurant next door. And the wife, the wifey, she, you know, she'll snap off. Oh, okay, that's not Da Vinci era. <laughs> I like that little translation there. Uh-uh, yeah. 2099 Spider-Man. So is that his theme? Stop. Macho Libre. I'm from another dimension. You are? Oscar Isaac. My name is Miguel O'Hare. I lead an elite strike yeah. force. Yeah, that's the comic. That's what I had. You left a hole wide enough for guys like him to randomly get shot into the wrong dimension. Started on Doctor Strange and a little nerd back on Earth 1999.99. Ah. <laughs> so they're referencing the MCU Spider-Man movie. That's cool. Wow. This is like, a, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> they had like the Da Vinci wings and all the calculations. Oh, that was so cool. This call for yeah, I already hung it. <laughs> but I <enjoyed> that. <laughs> now, who is this? Is this Spider Woman from another world? She's dressed like the Spider Woman, more so the color scheme from the comics that I grew up with. Spider Woman. Yeah. Me too. Oh, this? We don't know the sex yet. My husband wants it to be a surprise. Ah, he's really corny. <laughs> but so hot. Will you stop me? Oh! What are you about to do? I don't know what he was about to do. That 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 didn't look like anything Spidey would do. Or is that the dad? There's only one thing to do. Take the mask off. I didn't know it was him. I didn't have a How choice. How long have you been lying? You have the right to remain silent. What? Anything you say can and will. Columbia Pictures presents. Now I know what this looks like. This reminds me of the new Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. The new Fatal Fury game. If you haven't seen the trailer for that, check it out. The art style looks just like this. I know I'm wearing a Street Fighter 6 shirt, but. I love Street Fighter, but Fatal Fury Boy. This. Oh, that's not right. Spider Man. Wow. Uh, this is real. So, are you like a cow or a Dalmatian? Even though this is a different Spider Man, of course, he still has the same character attitude. My name is Miles Morales. I was bitten by a radioactive spider. Uh, he, he seems more Dominican to me. <laughs> I mean,. Would they get it if I told them? You accept you even though you have been lying to us for years. <laughs> okay. Just a second. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Take the call. Ah! I'm Spider-Man. No one can take that away from me. Unbelievable. Don't escape. <laughs> I always love the swinging scenes in this, man. They know how to get it. Why is that the animation, maybe I just answered my own question, but why is it that the animation can get the swinging so much better 
than the live action, except for the, the Sam Raimi films. How's it going? Now, son, what have we always Woo. just missed a few classes. Oh, just a few classes. Well, what's a few? Five. Five, Five. struggling immigrant families. I'm from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is part of America, yeah. It's on a floor in Brooklyn. I, I'm struggling. I don't know. <laughs> there are people out there who can literally teach me the things I want to learn, but they aren't all in Brooklyn. Spidey sense tingling. Oh, that guy. Kidding me? Your son. He's lying. And I think you know it. I got paid for that? You left in the middle of a fight. I did not. It was Are you serious? You got me agreeing with the bad guy right now. Bad guy? He's barely a villain of the week. What? <laughs> barely a villain of the week. I love that. You now, don't you? I, I really don't. I am your nemesis. <laughs> you are not. You ran a test on this collider that brought a spider here from another dimension. And it fit you. My spider made you Spider-Man. I was in this collider room when you blew it up. Ah, uh, you know what? It's been a long time since I've seen this. I don't know if they're retroactively doing this storytelling wise or if this guy was he really in the first one? Okay, so he is a villain now. Did he kick him he kicked himself in his own go dance. He's a good kid. Yeah? You know, it's scary. He says these things that are so smart. Who does these things that are so stupid? Oh. Maybe get off the kid's ass. I'm sorry, what? Whoa! What? What? <laughs> I, yeah, I was worried about that. I kicked myself into myself. I know. It's the real world. But I think I'm becoming a transdimensional super being. So? So? I am literally splitting. This is crazy. Man, page one with a decent picture this time. You're absolutely right, boss. I'm shut up. Uh -huh. Get out of here. You got it, boss. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> you got an anomaly. Thank you, Peter. You're one of our best. Jerry, who's on this? Beep, beep. It won't fit on one page. That's it. Can't you write smaller? Since when I was young. Oh. You know, me and my brother came up in this neighborhood just a couple of years. So he just has these little, you know, one-off, once-a-week villains that pop up, just like in the comics, right? And to my son, he's out there somewhere. I don't know why I've, I've just been here the whole time. Oh yeah. Ah, hi. You fucked me up, five. I know. Come on. You, did you even see the cake? There's some heartfelt messages on there. Oh. I am 15 years old. I am basically an oh, adult. Oh right. You don't right. even have a driver's license. Whatever. Wow. Whatever? <laughs> then I can say it. Yeah. You're grounded. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How have you been? Uh, I've been good. I've been, yeah, just great. Look at you. Hey, are these your drawings? What? No. Uh oh. So many. <laughs> Me too. I thought I'd never see you again. So the in, the ending of the last one had him talking to the ceiling at, at her. So was that just supposed to be, I don't know, an impressionistic exactly. ending and not to be taken literally? There's an elite society with all the best spider people in it. Okay, so there's this lady. Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah? Let's see that. Thread the needle. Oh, my ears. Ooh. I love Japanese animation and I, I, I go on and on about Japanese animation as being the, the, the pinnacle but this is showing that Americans, Westerns, Westerners, we can do it too. We have our own style. Some things are supposed to be just for us. That's a nice way to think about it. Just a really emotionally intelligent guy. Beyond my years. <laughs> <laughs> In every other universe, Gwen Stacy evolved for Spider-Man. Every other universe, it doesn't end well. 
<laughs> he looks old enough to vote. I bet you they just speak Spanish. This keeps you from glitching in other dimensions? Yeah. I'm just saying, if I had a watch, I could come with you. Uh, look, I did save the multiverse. No, I'm thinking there has to be some other reason I'll why he hasn't invited him in. Hello! Hi! Dang, man. <laughs> that almost got me. Rio! Hi! Guanda and I are friends from school. Yeah, yeah, we were just catching up. Oh. Uh, Rio, don't take him from me. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm just kidding. He's grounded, so you can't. Don't break his heart. Oh. <laughs> Hope I didn't ice your game, man. Uh -oh. No one my age says those words in that order, Mom. <laughs> Just stop by you know you can tell me anything. Just call me Papa. I'm 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 sorry I was late. Mm. No, you didn't do it. She can tell you still alive. Go. It's a trick. It's not a trick. <laughs> not a trick. Will you? Let me fix these. It'd be funny if she fixed his clothes and then saw the Spider-Man costume. And what I worry about most is they won't look out for you like us. That's true of any child going out in the world on their own. But even more so, it can be in many situations for a person of color. Let's just take care of that little boy for me. Make sure he never forgets where he came from. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever they make promises like this, man, it just feels bad. Like something's going to happen. <laughs> oh, I forgot he has that power. Camouflage. She should be able to know that he's there, right? All right, this is going to work. Or vaporize me and everything in this building, which would not be good. No, wow. I mean, are you kidding me right now? Seriously, he can jump wherever he wants. He could be a total candy killer. You have not even the of the week. Do you know how bad this is for you? Every dimension he's got that has an Alchemax. Alchemax. Don't tell Miguel. He'll kick me out of here. Tell him Gwen will meet him. I'm on it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Oh, you're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> you got an hour to fix this. Aren't they the ones that got her into this in the first place? Or I guess it was her fault from the very beginning. Can she really not sense him there? You could probably get back on time. Some timey wimey stuff. This Doctor Who. Okay, I thought I was gonna see more opening credits like this. Now it's starting. Mumbata. <laughs> Pardon me, locals. Wow, four on there. Wow, that's very dangerous. <laughs> Saw where you went and went there without you knowing. Oh, okay. This is the Indian Spider Man, huh? He's Miles and he wasn't invited. Oh, you weren't invited and you came anyway? This guy must be in love with you. Okay, no, whoa. I'm not. Oh, whoa. I do almost nothing with my amazing hair. You don't use any product at all. Just coconut oil, <laughs> prayer, some genetic. Pear. <laughs> I love chai tea. What did chai. you just say? Chai tea, chai tea. Uh oh, you made a mistake. <laughs> it's like when people in Japan say like Tamagawa River. Well, Gawa means river, so it's like Tama River, not Tama River River. I'm on a journey of self improvement, and you came to India. Western culture cliche. Tony Fre loves me, bro. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this romantic tension is so palpable. Will they? Won't they? Be unstoppable. <laughs> Will they? Won't they? <laughs> Ooh, what's going on? How long does this usually take? Give me a second. Ah, what? This is Hobie. I love how many different variations of you guys there are. I I I I am just drowning in in this craziness. Is this a comic too? <laughs> uh oh. 
Everything in this is so inventive, man. I mean, the story is like a classic birth of a villain, comic book villain, but the camera angles and how they tell the story and how they choose to animate it, it's like constantly reinventing itself, even as it's playing. I mean, he's got the guy, the cabbie, the tuk-tuk in his hand. What is that he's got, man? It's... Who's the father though? Oh, okay. <laughs> he was just like under some trash next to him. So that seems like his Gwen. Like, you know, Gwen Stacy's father was a policeman. It seems like this is the Indian Spider Man's version. Yeah, what's going on with that? Okay? Did he do something? Welcome to Spider Society. I know I saw Iron Spider for a moment. Oh! <laughs> That's right. He, he had a car in the comics. Thinking about my past. Oh! That's Ben Riley. Oh my. Truth is sad. Isn't that, that's, uh, what's his name? Uh, from Atlanta, Donald Glover. Guys, I've been in Japan, it's been 15 years. I'm like in a different world out here. I forget names. New ideas on how to catch the spot. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa. 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 another hole in the multiverse. You should just know any better. I do know what, uh, and you. I'm just gonna try ignoring you. I just can't. I can't lie to me. <laughs> so easy on the kid. He had oh. a terrible completion. Uh, I was wondering if he was going to be back. Don't be afraid of my friend Miguel. He just looks scary. He's got nobody. Wait, what is that? Mayday, you have a baby? I have a baby. I'm trying to hold a serious adult conversation here. You know, you're the only Spider-Man who isn't funny. We're supposed to be funny. The fate of the multiverse. You always lose me with that. I saved those people. And that's the problem. All of our lives. Woven together in a beautiful web. So this is like the actual Spider-Man, the one that we know from the comics. Ah, they put the movie in there. Wow. Amazing Spider-Man, the film. Oh. Events are the connections that bind our lives. That's why anomalies are so dangerous. Is he an anomaly? He was supposed to save you. That's why Gwen tried to stop you. Because you changed the story, Pavitra's dimension is unraveling. Mm, that's interesting. What am I supposed to do? Just let him die? Kid, look at us calling. Here we go. Hoping you're not helping. No, 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 no. We let him leave. He'll only do more damage. Tell him to end like this, kid. I said not to call me that. Oh, I'm just curious how they're gonna show this. This seems to be a lot to animate. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> if they make a third one, I don't know how you can go much, much further than this. I promise you. Please, man, let's 
Man, just watching this makes me want to just get on the illustration table here and just start drawing. Just start conceptualizing. This is awesome. The gave you your powers wasn't from your dimension. Mm. You're not supposed to be Spider-Man. No, mm. if you hadn't been bit, your Peter Parker would have lived. That's hard, man. Why are you telling a teenager all of this? You talked about this? Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. I'm gonna do my own thing. Got myself a little bento here. Bento is lunchbox in Japanese, if you don't know. Initializing go home machine. <laughs> what? what kind of name is that? I'd be scared out of, out of my mind if I was uh, Miles, because like, does he even know how to get home? So I think every Spider-Man is a genius. Oh! You can see him. And it's something scary. There's always been something scary about Spider-Man 2099. Maybe it's just the canines, I don't know. System reboot. Okay, she had a choice. She must have sided with him in that moment. He's gonna be mad. What did you do? Fault. You let him get away, I can't help you. I'm not coming. Mm. You're right. Like some kind of jail or what? Go home, Gwen. That's the thing with stories like this, right? I mean, they're right in a way, right? Everything that happens in, in reality, if you really want to live in a true reality, get a little theo theological for a moment. If you really want to live in a true reality, that means that it's going to have cause and effect. Everything that you do is going to have a ripple. It's going to have some effect. That's the joy of living in a in a, a reality and being a sentient being in a reality. So theologically, when it comes to entrance of sin into the world, that was only possible because of free will. But God is different than these guys because he can see, the Bible says, a thousand years and a day are like the same to him. So he sees a, a billion, quadrillion different threads of reality in their outcomes. Maybe to another fight. Did I bring our bit? No, no, no. Because you asked me not to. So I, I didn't, I wouldn't. <laughs> yes, you would. You think I'll be any good at this? That's interesting that they're talking about that because this is the whole idea of like people ask like why did God create us? Well, you can pose the same question to a parent. Why do they have children, right? They're not God. They don't know for sure that their child is going to do wrong, but they know that it's like it's it's probable because they're a creature, a being that is sentient in reality. How many people on death row have parents that no matter how ashamed they are of what their child did, they just they don't want their son to die. Some of them may even want to take their place when the execution date comes. Right. You just you even look at me. <laughs> I do like how the MCU tried to come up with a rational, technical reason why Spider-Man's face would make those different emotes, even with the mask on. No other movie had done that up until then. And that made it feel just like the comic. Wow. I can do all these things, but I can't help the people I love the most. You're the best thing I've ever done. That's beautiful to hear. Do whatever you're gonna do out there, don't get lost. Am I too late? Are you guys okay? Tell me you're okay. I'm okay. I know how strong I am now. I'm strong because of you. You're talking crazy. What's going on? His name. Yeah, I was gonna say like. For all of us, that makes sense for, you know, that's been watching this movie. But if my kid came in saying that, I would be like, okay, son, we got to call the cops or call the hospital. Something's wrong with you. I'm maybe four years younger. She would laugh. Who's, uh-oh. 
okay, I don't quite know yet what's happening. If she's not believing him because he's a kid with flights of fancy, or did the universe change? Hold on, I need to talk to you. Oh, he's in a different universe. Oh no. He's in the wrong universe. So that must mean that the real Miles is still there. The Howler. Ah! Just saw you last night, man. I thought something looked weird, yeah, because this universe, it looks very abstract with the colors again. The world looks different. Uh... Oh, come on. What the heck are you doing here? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the first question. Tell him five months. <laughs> and tell him we love him. I bet the guy that swung in was him. Who are you? You have to let me go. What could he want him for? Why would I do that? Damn, dude. That's intimidating. Yeah, I can't see this wrapping up. I'm looking at the bar on my screen here, the progress bar. It feels like they're setting up for a next one or a third installment. She might, what, does she have spider sense too? <laughs> oh, does she, she went back and got the guy. I wonder if Nicolas Cage is going to be on this too. Does she want me to dive through the computer screen? I to be continued. Nice, awesome, cool. And that's just the way a computer uh, comic book. That's just the way a comic book would end like that. Ooh, I love these. Very painterly, man. Yeah. Okay, guys, that was my reaction to Across the Spider Verse. Wow, loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, I, first of all, look, let me just tell you, I'm an artist, okay, so I love just, this movie was like a big explosion of creative ideas, and it just seemed like, and, and, and that's kind of the flip side of it, my only little critique of it is on the flip side of the coin what I like about it. It's like an explosion of ideas that they tried everything. I mean, even, man, just interweaving the action and the witty dialogue like that. I mean, that's hard to do, man. I can only imagine how difficult that is to do. Um, and that mirrors the kind of the abstract style of the art as well. Painterly, graphic, the, the little color dots that make up the colors of a comic book, right? That was awesome, you know. But on the flip side, uh, it could it, it it got a little bit much at points when it came to the the crazy witty dialogue action happening at the same time. I mean, I loved it, but it's kind of like if you eat too much candy, right? Like you love the candy, you love the taste, and especially if you're a kid, you know it's not good for you, okay? But if somebody keeps handing it to you or says open in your mouth and I'll shove more candy in you're gonna open your mouth <laughs> especially if you were five-year-old me you know so um so yeah it, it got a little bit much at times but at the same time I, I can't say that I didn't like that little bit too much that I was getting you know what I'm saying if that makes any sense to you the actor who plays Miles Morales I don't know his name he's doing really good great acting um, even, you know, animated wise, you know, because that's a separate skill from what I'm hearing and, and from what I understand, acting and voice acting, right? Uh, with voice acting, you have to take into account that people are not going to be seeing your face, so you don't want to come off as wooden, right? 
So yeah, he, he really endows emotion and personality and unashamed, but not overboard, ethnic genuineness. There's an ethnic genuineness to it that it's not like they're trying to shove down your throat and prove that you know that he's, you know, um, how, how, what's the word they say now in America? I don't know anymore. Latino, Latina, like what's the correct phrase to say? I don't know. I've been in Japan so long. Um, it's hard to catch up, but it didn't feel like he, he or, or, or his family or, or the characters were trying to really just shove down your throat the fact that they were of Latino background. But it, felt, it just felt more natural, like they were welcoming you to join the family and their ethnic world and just enjoy living in it for a, a little bit, you know? And I like that. I like that, you know, uh, being as a person of color myself. And not even just a person of color, but if you any ethnicity, if we are welcome to kind of join in and, and live a little bit in the world of that ethnic group, it just makes the character feel all the more real, you know. Um, and they don't have to. I like that they didn't have to explain everything. I don't know about you guys when you watched it, but on my screen, there weren't and there were subtitles enabled. But when they were speaking Spanish at times, there were no no subtitles. And. I like that. I like that. It just feels more genuine. Like I, and it makes my brain work to kind of connect with the scene, what they might be saying, you know. And I'm a language teacher too, so I'm able to, you know, connect the dots with certain things. And I studied studied Latin in, in high school, but that's not the point. The point is, is that it's engaging. It makes you engage with the characters and with their culture when you even want to know what they might be saying and and and, and picking up the little hints of that, you know. Um, and patting yourself on the back when you got it right. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, I love I love this. I really liked it, man. Spider Man twenty ninety nine. I had just that one comic of his, his debut comic, scares the mess out of me. Now, I never bought another one of his comics. Not because I didn't think it was it wasn't good. It's just the character was just scary to me, man. You know. And I was a young kid. You know. Now I appreciate him more because they were trying new things, you know. And I think he has like huge spinnerets in his arms. You can't see it in the movie, but I remember my comic. I have that image where he like shows the comic reader his arms and you can see like these bulging spinnerets. And I think he can see in the dark and when he does, his eyes turn white or something. He's much more animalistic, but I like, I wasn't expecting the, the villainous, turn he had in this but it was well done because it wasn't just villain for villainy's sake you know twirling the mustache <laughs> damsel on the train tracks nothing like that you know even that, that that's cool that's cool i like that <laughs> we're talking about tropes going back in time um anyway loved it uh i love the music the the you know <laughs> <laughs> I like that, you know. Um, <laughs> it seemed like everybody had a different uh, tone, a different theme, of course, you know. And I, I love when characters have their own theme. There's a lot of action movies out there, especially in modern times, where the score is just, it's so throw throwawayable. You can throw it away. I like that, throwawayable. Uh, man, we'd be making all kinds of new languages out here in Japan. English, Japanese, Janglish, English, as they call it. Because, um, you know, I, I'm a big fan of classic film scores um, where they would definitely try to create a leap motif, a very distinguished theme for every character or situation. I, I don't know what happened recently folks they're just going crazy with the dubstep you know but in this there's some dubstep vibes but they have character to match the character so yeah it seems like it's it's this movie is taking that sound that electronic sound to a new level where they're actually coming back full circle to create unique themes that fit a character right um 
yeah, I'm looking forward to the third one. I wasn't aware that this was going to be a trilogy. That's what it's going to be now. I just, you know, my only thing is, is I hope that they rein it in. Because sometimes when when you get sequels, uh, they feel like they have to outdo the other one in terms of all the things that made the, the, the fans laugh in theaters or whatever, or cry or usually laugh. And they just go overboard. So I hope that, I think this is the max as it should get when it comes to the frenetic, crazy action witticisms at the same time. Just, just you can be more, you can be inventive, but just, you know, the wise crackiness is, you know, sometimes that underplays the, the, the tense and dramatic feeling when there's just too much jokiness. In the MCU, so it, it gets there sometimes. Man, Thor, Ragnarok, I don't mind telling you, and I'm usually a really nice guy when it comes to films and critiquing people's hard work, but this was not hard work. Or you worked hard to just make it steaming pile. You know, you know what. I hear they're going to get a new director. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed my reaction, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. State why in the comments. You know, if you have any comic references, things that I missed, that I made mistakes about, hey, put it in the comments. You are welcome. Welcome to the family. Feel free to like and subscribe as well. Come and join us, okay? I'm getting back in the gear, man. You know, making some more movies. Got more stuff uh, on the horizon. Uh, and I'm going to be also uh, re-uploading certain videos that were, like, copyrighted. Like The Witch, uh, Robert Eggers' The Witch. Um, I'm going to be re-editing that. Because right now it's restricted in certain places in the United States. Oh, man. Of all places. I can't have that, y'all. So, anyway... God bless you wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in the next one.